Okay, we've got a couple of videos. We're going to show those, and then we're going to bounce right to questions. Take it away, top secret us. All right, lady, what is this? This is um, it's an actually older product. This is our Neo Key Ortho Snap Apart. So this is an orthogonal five by six matrix of uh, diode connected um, sockets for Kale, Gateron, MX switches and uh, LEDs, and um, they're actually connected up row and column, but they're broken apart. There's little traces that go between these mouse bites. But what I want to show as a tester, because, you know, one of the things that's kind of funny is like, how do you test something that has um, so many um, pogo pins? It's actually like physically hard to hold it down. So we actually have a little uh, helper sheet, this little plastic plate that um, lets you, oops. lets you uh, quickly press down all the pads easily. So when you see them all light up green, uh, that means they all pass test. It's tested every column and row connection. Uh, so it makes it quick for um, testing all 30 PCBs at the same time. All right, lady, what is this? This is um, an update to our resistive touch TFT shield. This um, has been out of stock for like two years because of part shortages. Um, and I've been meaning to redesign it, and I finally got around to doing it in, like, last couple weeks. Uh, so uh, the touchscreen controller has been updated to the TSC 2007. Um, I kind of waffled back and forth, but decided in the end to go with an I2C touch controller. So it uses the I2C pins here. Um, and uh, it still uses SPF for the display and micro SD card. And it's got, like, the socket here for SPI access. And I'm also using it to test at the same time. SPI and I2C on this Metro S3. So you plug it in. And I'm using um, the IRQ line uh, to detect touches. So um, very nice, very fast. Like you see, like very smooth um, touch detection going on here. So pretty much ready to go into the shop. So I'm going to order these soon and you'll see the revision. Lady, what's this? These are the final Metro RP2040 PCBs that came in. Uh, this is kind of neat. It's rare that you'll see an A circle on our boards. That means the first revision worked. Uh, very rare. Usually you'll see a C or a D or even an H uh, when I have to do many revisions. Um, but all the GPIO are tested working. I bumped up the flash to be 16 megabytes. That's nice. You've got that RX and TX switch, so you can swap RX and TX pins, um, buttons, Stemma QT. And then this is the tester. Um, again, I'm using my Pico Brains. Uh, to program the UF2 that is loaded onto the Metro, it lives on the SD card. And I can press the button if it says I'm waiting for the um, USB device. Then it resets it, uh, copies over the UF2, and then tests the output, and it passes. So uh, this is now ready to go into the shop.